Hi guys. I'm just about to start my makeup and I completely forgot to turn the camera on before I started. So here we are. You already know what I'm doing. Um, you probably saw it in the intro. So let me just tell you what I have on my face right now. I first went in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And then I used the... Where is it at? Then I used the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Mattifying Pore Filling Primer on my nose. And then I powdered my nose with the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. Under my eyes right now, I have the Stellar Beauty Concealer in the shade S01 for color correcting. And then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm also going to put this underneath my eyes just to give it a nice... Um, flawless look. Uh, today is, uh, I'm saying uh, a lot. I'm sorry. Today is, what is today? November 11th. <laughs> Happy Veterans Day, fellow veterans. Uh, and we are still living in the crazy, still living in the crazy. Y'all know if you live in America, y'all know. No, it's not just America. Actually, the UK just shut down again too. I hope, um, I hope we don't have to shut down. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now that I kind of don't want to be all political on my channel. But we all know what's going on right now, and it's not, uh, it's not helping anything, you know? People are out here scared of what's, you know, what's going on, and <sighs> there's just, you know, the higher-ups just have other priorities right now. Either way, um... So I'm just living living my life. Uh, I have stopped purchasing makeup. Um, you guys know I really don't um, buy a lot of makeup in the first place. And the stuff that I do buy, I get it off Poshmark, so it's all discounted. But um, I pretty much stopped that too because I want to try to save my money in these uncertain times. Uh, I need a mirror. That's what I'm missing. It's like I knew I'm missing something. Ugh. I still have not gotten a new Glam Goth mirror, so I'm still using the broken one. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't really want to talk about that. I do want to talk about next year. I am very excited about next year because I have decided that I want to start raising chickens in my backyard. Now, I live, um, I live in rural suburbia. And um, I have looked up the zoning ordinance ordinances in my township, and it says I can do it. So I am currently doing all my research. Um, one of the biggest uh, sources that I'm using is YouTube, of course. And more specifically, I have stumbled upon this wonderful woman who lives in the Pacific Northwest. I'm not sure what her name is, but you can call her the president of Chickenlandia. <laughs> um, I will leave her YouTube channel down below in the description box, and I'll pop it up right here or something. Um, she is a wealth of knowledge. She is a backyard chicken educator in um, the Pacific Northwest, and... Uh, Obviously, she has a YouTube channel, and she shares all her tips and tricks about how to raise te uh, chickens in temperate climates. I live in Michigan, so I think our winters are a little bit more intense than maybe where she lives, but um, she shows you everything you need to know about chickens from the starting point to like how to winterize them and everything, so... I'm very excited about this. Like, I've never done anything, you know, remotely like this before. I have only ever had cats. I've never even even had, like, gerbils and stuff like that. So I am, um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm worried. I'm just going to make sure I am as pre prepared as possible because chickens are an animal. And I'm not going to be raising these to eat. So there's a difference between egg-laying chickens and uh, meat chickens. So the ones I'm going to be getting are just going to be egg-laying. So, uh, yes. Anyway, um, that's what I've been doing lately. I've just been 
been drop binge watching that YouTube channel and a few others and getting all this knowledge in my head about chickens and so far I have not been discouraged and I'm very excited I got a couple people in my life helping me find um, some secondhand chicken supplies because you know I, I, I'm starting from zero so I have to find a coop and stuff like that and uh, my goal is to make sure I have all the structures done by uh, mid-January and uh, that should that should be doable and then uh, get the chicks in about mid-February maybe late February mid-February something like that and then start this journey I am very very excited um, it does not seem, I won't say it seems easy, but it definitely seems doable. So I'm very excited about that. I need to move this mirror, I think. Then I'll be in frame. Okay, I just need to tilt it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I'll probably be uh, vlogging it. <laughs> um, it'll probably just be a bunch of voiceovers because, you know, when I'm, since I'm not like a um, versed, chicken owner um, I'm probably gonna want to be concentrating on what I'm doing so I'll just film I'll just have some footage and then I'll just um, do a voiceover on what I'm doing so tomorrow I'm going to go to the hardware store let me zoom you out a little bit I'm gonna go to the hardware store and pick up some O OSB oh OSB board look it's <laughs> I think that's what it's called OSB OSB. Anyway, I'm going to be making a brooding box. Um, and if you know me in real life, you know I am not very handy. I am kind of a princess when it comes to things. I pay people to do a lot of manual labor for me because I am not good with my hands. I do not have the dexterity. Um, and it's just easier for me to pay people to do, you know, building stuff and things that require you know hand strength and things like that but this one I'm going to be doing by myself and I'm super excited uh, I found a YouTube channel once again like I said YouTube I don't know what we did before YouTube I mean I really don't like if you wanted to learn something I mean did you have to go to school I don't I mean I was around before YouTube and I can't even remember um, either way uh, YouTube amazing anyway um I found a resource on how to build a brooding box with OSB and uh, some 2x4s, a drill, and some nails, and it supposedly only costs $20, so we're going to see how true that is tomorrow. Uh, what do I want to use for concealer? I'm sorry, I'm not even telling you what I'm using. Um, I just used for the perimeter of my face, I used my Oma Beauty contour stick in, uh, I believe this is in Fair Lady, I thought this was in Fair Lady, yeah, this is in Fair Lady, and then I went in with my Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Stick for my nose contour. Now I'm going to try to find a concealer. I thought I had one. You guys know I've been using, here it is, I've been using the e.l.f. Hydro, um, Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Sand. And you guys know how I'd be doing my makeup. I'm pretty much, this is just pretty much a chit chat, you know, uh, catch up kind of video. I'm not really doing anything novel here. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so tomorrow, because you guys know I'm on a night schedule, so it's actually like... 8:49 at night um, and usually I stay up until 6 a.m. but I'm not going to do that today because I need daylight uh, to work because you know I can't be drilling while lady is asleep even though I'm gonna do it in the garage I just don't want to you know wake her up in the middle of the night either way uh sorry that's my that's my phone anyway uh yeah so I'm going to probably go to bed at like 2 or 3 a.m. and wake up at around 11 and go to the hardware store and uh, make that happen. I'm very excited. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this and I am excited. And it's gonna be a new hobby. Um, I mean, it's not gonna be up and running this winter, you know. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be buying baby chicks probably from Tractor Supply or a few online resources that I have discovered. And, um, I think I'm only going to get like six chickens 
and see how I do with that. And then if I flourish, <laughs> or if I should say if they flourish, then I'll probably get more next year. But um, I have a pretty substantial backyard, so room is not going to be the issue. I think it's just going to be more of a responsibility thing. But some of the reasons I want chickens is I want a uh, I want something that I can um, do outside and I'm not really a gardener I kill everything I am not very patient with things uh, so there's like specific ways you have to uh, plant things sometimes and that's just not my journey so I really like animals and I like taking care of animals. I've had animals all my life. Well, you know, cats, but cats are animals. And I really like taking care of them. And I love fresh eggs. Hence why I'm getting egg-laying chickens. Um, I also think it's going to be something that my daughter and I can do together. Because she's going to be three next year. So... It's definitely going to teach her, you know, empathy because these chicks are going to be so tiny and it's going to teach her, you know, um, you know, just how to be around animals, maybe even a little bit of responsibility, even though I'm going to be the one, um, you know, taking care of them. But, you know, I'm going to show her the eggs and stuff like that. Just kind of get her outside of, you know, what she would typically see around here. I mean, we live in kind of like, um out on the outskirts of town but it's not like we have like cows and everything readily available we got to go to like to the petting zoo for those um so it would be nice you know it's going to be nice to have something like that in our own backyard and I am super excited and like I said I hope it's something uh that I am good at and it's not too expensive. That's the biggest thing, too. Like, just the startup is the expensive part. Um, and after that, it's pretty much, you know, pays for itself. All right, so I am going to be using my Estee Lauder Set and Refresh Spray before I apply my foundation, because I haven't even applied foundation yet. <laughs> this is all my uh, all my under underpainting I'd be doing. So, yeah, right now that's my biggest... Uh, that's my biggest project that I'm working on, and like I said, it's going to be, I'm, I'm buying things now, so it's not a huge, um, it's not a huge dip in my finances when I finally, you know, want to buy chicks and stuff like that. I'll already have everything set up, and then I'll just have to, um, get, like, little odds and ends, like, that I can't buy in advance, like hay and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, mostly, like I said, the structure is what I'm going to be doing ahead of time, and I'm going to try to do it, a majority of it myself. All right, so the foundation I'm going in with is the Wet n Wild foundation, and this is the dewy version, and it is in the shade uh cream beige. I'm not even sure if this is going to match me. It should. I'm pretty sure I got the right. Yeah, it looks like it's going to match me. Um So, I'm going for a very uh light look today. It's going to be very peanut butter, peanut butter inspired. Um, I think in my last video I told you that I'm going to start doing makeup, uh, my makeup looks revolving around a makeup item that I want to use. So it's still lipsticks. That's the easiest for me to get inspired by. So this is a look inspired by one of the Beauty Bakery lipsticks that I bought a while ago um, that I'm just starting to use. Oh, and I am going to be selling a lot more of my makeup because I'm not using a lot of it. Um, the, the link to my Poshmark closet is always down below in the description box. I have a few things up there, um, especially uh, my uh, summer foundations, even though I am going to be taking those off here pretty soon because they are going to be expiring uh, come spring. And I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, selling people expired makeup. But there's some powder products on there, too, that don't, you know, in my opinion, powder products don't really expire. So those are going to be on there. Uh, so, yeah, the, that link is always 
down below in the description box if you want to see what I have available. Maybe you've seen something on my channel and you're like, ooh, I want that. Well, it might be up there. And I am going to be starting to get rid of some of my palettes because a lot of them I'm not using. All right, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit more concealer and I'm going to let it sit right here. All right, so I just went off camera and blended out that concealer. I went off camera because I waited a little bit to let it dry down. That's how you get the most coverage. And then I went in and contoured my nose a little bit more. And then I'm going to be adding some contour right here. This is a very minimal look. I'm just being a little extra. You don't have to do all this, of course. But every time I like Every time I do my makeup, I like doing something a little bit different. Just to try out new techniques. Alright, so now I'm going to bake my nose real quick. Uh, to do that, you guys know, <laughs> this powder for my nose, this is the MAC Patrick Star Powder. Now, he actually has his own brand now called One Size. So, uh... They just came out with a powder and I'm wondering if it's even better than this powder because this powder is pretty good. My window is open if you can hear the rain outside. So besides the chickens, um, I'm going to be doing more hair content. Um, I'm probably actually going to be showing you a wig in my next video, which I'm going to be filming right after this one. Uh, I've been doing a lot of coloring because I want to get better at it. So um, I'm going to be showing you how I do that. And hopefully you guys like that. Um, I did a balayage on some Eunice hair that I had. So. I'll be filming how I did that. Even though I do have a video on how I did my first balayage, uh, I believe it was a, like a year ago or something. Anyway, things change. Um, I do things a little bit different now. So I'm going to show you guys that. These um, troughs under my eyes, they do not want to be covered up today. They're like, no ma'am, we're here. I'm just trying to press out these creases so I don't set them in place. And to try to get rid of that little bit of darkness, I'm going to be going in with my Essence Brighten Up Powder. This is a banana powder. And I'm going to use this sponge right here and see if I can make some things happen with this. Let's see. gonna do it right there just let it bake a little bit you guys know I have uh, dry skin so I'm not gonna leave this on for very long and I'm bringing it up on my nose to help with my nose contour okay so for my nose contour I'm going to be using this physicians formula uh, bronzing palette and I'm going to be going in with the, which one do I want to use? I'm going to be going in with the uh, Endless, well, maybe I want to use Sunset. I'm going to be going in with the Sunset Bronzer. And this mm, smells like coconut. I love scents in my makeup, like coconut scent and fruit scent smell so good. Some people don't. I'm one of the people that do. And, of course, I got this off of Poshmark. But, of course, you can find it at Ulta, too. So, I'm just going down my nose with that and then bringing it into my eye so I can contour my eye. Physicians Formula has got these bronzers down pat, like... I even might want to say that they're better than Too Faced bronzers because they're so creamy. 
I love them. I love some, I love some. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit more powder on the tip of my nose, let that bake a little bit more. All right, and now to dust away my under eye powder, I'm going in with the hourglass. The mineral veil powder. Dust some of it off. Um, just like that. Do a little bit more. And the only reason I'm using this hourglass powder is because I haven't used it in a while. Alright, I'm going to use that same hourglass powder on my chin. The only thing I hate about the hourglass powder is it's such a bitch trying to get it out. Because you have to get it through these little holes that make the H. And it's just ugh, so annoying. Of course, this is the travel version. I don't have the full size. Ah, mm. so annoying. Okay. I'm just setting around my mouth. All right. And now we're going to go in with bronzers again. I'm going to be using the same bronzer, the Sunset Bronzer. And I'm going to... Do that along my cheeks. Mm, it smells so good. You guys see how pigmented that is? Ooh, get rid of some of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Sand. Anyway, what else was I talking about? Oh yes, okay, so. Hair videos. I'm going to be doing more hair videos. So, um, if you guys watch me for makeup, sorry, that's not going to be my priority so much right now because, um, I want to, <sighs> sorry, I just sneezed, so that's why that cut was a little weird. Anyway, I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smith Powder in the shade Sand. I hope I'm not getting a cold. That would suck. Anyway, uh, so content. I'm going to be doing more hair videos. So if you watch me for makeup, uh, I'm sorry. That's not going to be my priority so much anymore. But it should still be enjoyable. This is really muddy right here. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Mm. See what I can do about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. I got a, I got hair, and of course, you guys know today is 11/11. Sorry, I didn't do a, um, a video like giving my recommendations for the 11/11 sale, but you know, life. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna be buying some closures. Just closures because I already have a vendor that I love getting bundles from and that's the wig dealer. Link right there. Well, not the link, but the website's right there and the link will be down below in the description box. Um, she's got great hair at great deals. And I'll also leave down below some of the other websites that um, I am buying hair from. Black owned. And female owned. Oh, I really hope I'm not getting sick. I forgot to talk for a bit there. I just get so involved in my makeup that I forget to talk. All right, so I'm going in with this Too Faced Apricot Miak Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. I'm using this for blush. 
obviously. And just put it on a blush brush. And it's got a little bit of shimmer in it too. So I'm just going to put this on the high points of my cheekbones. And down the center of my nose and chin. Just adds a little bit of shimmeries. It's not really blushy. It's more shimmery than blushy. And then of course, buff it out. And then I'm going to go in with my cookie highlight. Y'all know how I love this highlight. And I'm going to use that for my nose. All right, so for lips, and then we're going to do eyes because I want to show you what this look is um, based around. So this is the lipstick right here. This is called Peanut, Peanut Butter Luster from Beauty Bakery. So I'm going to line my lips using uh, Rimmel London in Tiramisu. And I'm not really doing a defined lip line. but I am overlining, as you can see. <laughs> so it says luster in the name. This is definitely a matte. And it's very warm. Perfect for ball, in my opinion. All right, so for eyes, we're just going to be using this little palette right here and my Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette. So I'm going to be going in with the shade Endless Summer. That's right here. And I'm going to be using that on the outer and inner corner of my eye. Let me make sure I have a brush. Here we go. I'm just using circular motions. This is a super, super easy look. And I'm just really blending that out so it kind of more looks like a shadow than eyeshadow. And then running that same shade underneath my eye. I'm making it dark on the outside and then lightly bringing it in. And going in with that fluffy brush again. Alright, so now I'm going to be using a Laura Mercier uh, Metallic Taupe Caviar Stick Eye Color. And it's pretty much just a golden. As you can see, it's just a golden right there. So I'm just going to be applying that on the center of my lid. And then using my finger to blend it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, so you don't have to do this part, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Going in with the Kat Von D Vita Loca palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Harpsichord right there. And it's kind of like this orangey kind of coppery kind of look. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But that's the shade right there. And I'm just going to take that and just pop it right in the very center like that. So it gives like a nice little orangey tint to the gold to kind of tie in with the lipstick better. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of cookie on my inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit. Okay, let me zoom you in so you can see the eyes, and then I'm going to go off camera, add my mascara, and show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. Share this video because you know sharing is caring. And since you're here, you might as well watch some videos. So there they are popping up right there and right there. Right there and right there. Right there and right there. Support your girl, okay? And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!